Hello everyone! Today, I will do a battery comparison test among Samsung Galaxy A8 Plus 2018, Sony Xperia XZ2, Xperia XZ2 Compact, Huawei Mate 10 Lite and Redmi Note 5 Pro. I will use original chargers for the charging test. These batteries have some differences in battery capacity. Now they're all in 0% power. Let's see what will happen in the test. Huawei Mate 10 Lite turned on, but in fact it has no power, so it shut down again at the moment of power on. Note 5 Pro and Mate 10 Lite started the charge first, and Sony phones got 1% at the same time they started. After 15 minutes, A8 Plus charging speed leads. After 30 minutes, A8 Plus kept leading and the charging speed started rising. After 1 hour, the A8 Plus charging speed remains the first. The smallest battery XZ2 Compact comes the second. XZ2 and Note 5 Pro charging speeds had not much difference, and Mate 10 Lite was the slowest. After 1 hour and 30 minutes, the A8 Plus battery was about to get full, and there's no obvious difference in the charging speed of other phones. After 1 hour and 40 minutes, the A8 Plus was fully charged. At this time, the speed of the XZ2 Compact has started to lag behind Note 5 Pro. Due to Sony's battery, XZ2 and XZ2 Compact will start charging quickly and then gradually slow down. After 2 hours and 16 minutes, Redmi Note 5 Pro was full. Although it holds the largest capacity battery, it was not the last to get a full battery. After 2 hours and 39 minutes, the XZ2 Compact and XZ2 are full, and the XZ2 Compact was a little bit advanced. Mate 10 Lite was also almost full. At 2 hours and 54 minutes, the Mate 10 Lite was 99%. After 1 minute, it also got a full battery. In the charging test, a8 Plus 1. It has the second largest battery capacity, but it's the first to get full battery. The maximum battery capacity of Note 5 Pro won second place. Sony's mobile phone was almost full at the same time, while Mate 10 Lite was the last to fill. Now let's start the battery drain test. I will adjust their brightness and volume to about 50% and clear all backgrounds. Now unplug the charger and start playing the video to test it. One hour after playing video, there is no obvious difference among other mobile phones except the XZ2 consumed 18%, which was quite surprising. Then let's turn it into a game consumption test. After playing the game for one hour, the XZ2's battery has been less than 60%. Next, I will turn to the music consumption test. After playing music for one hour, the Mate 10 Pro battery was also below 60%. XZ2 battery was already about one and a half lower than the A8 Plus and Note 5 Pro. Now. Turn to Antutu Benchmark Consumption Test.
after an Tutu benchmark for 47 minutes, the XZ2 battery was below 15%. After one hour of Antutu benchmark, the battery of XZ2 was almost exhausted. Other cell phone batteries have been below 60%, and you can find that their batteries consume very quick when running Antutu benchmark. Now turn to video recording consumption test. I checked the battery settings of two Sony's phones and none of them turned on stamina mode or ultra stamina mode. After 24 minutes of video recording, XZ2 died. The A8 Plus and Note 5 Pro still had about half of the battery. When recording video tests, all phones battery consuming very fast. XZ2 Compact and Mate 10 Lite both had few batteries left. Now, I will go back to the video playing consumption test. Forty-eight minutes later, the Mate 10 Lite died. Although it was able to reboot, it turned off again at the moment of opening. A8 Plus and Note 5 Pro are consuming at very similar speed, while the XZ2 compact battery was less left. I continue video consumption testing. One hour after replaying the video, the XZ2 Compact was almost exhausted. It can be seen that playing video does not consume a very large number of batteries. I continue video consumption testing. About 10 minutes later, XZ2 Compact died. In the drain test, XZ2 Compact stay more time than XZ2. Does anyone know what will cause that result? After a 30 minute video playing consumption test, I switched to a Tutu benchmark test. After 30 minutes of a Tutu benchmark, it can be seen that this app consumes much more battery than video playing. After 30 minutes of Antutu benchmark, A8 Plus died. At this time, Note 5 Pro still had 7% battery left. After 17 minutes, Redmi Note 5 Pro battery was also exhausted. As the largest battery phone in this test, it survived to the end. Finally, in the battery drain test, all phones performed well, except XZ2. Its battery consuming so fast that I can't help thinking the phone has something wrong with it. Or did I get a defect phone? Are you surprised by this test result? If you have any questions or ideas, please leave a comment below.